Hey everybody, my name is Tammy O'Neill. I'm the manager with Lake Metro Parks, Kevin P. Clinton Wildlife Center at Penitentiary Glen Park. Currently we are closed and not accepting any animals because of the safety and state protocols due to COVID-19. But we want everybody to know that we still really care about any animals that you might find out in the wild, especially this time of year. All the animals are really busy having babies. Um, all the animals are coming back from migration. But today we are gonna focus on the Eastern Cottontail Rabbit because they do have so many babies, they're prolific. They're the most common baby mammal that we get calls about and that we get in. Um, nine times out of 10, they do not need our assistance. Most likely they just need us to keep a safe distance from their nest. But we know once you find a nest, you're gonna be concerned. So we wanna help you figure out if they really need your help or not. So um, the main two reasons we get them in is lawn care equipment and people's pets. Um, when you start going out to do yard work and things like that, one thing you can do really quick, especially if you haven't cut your grass yet and it's tall, is look for any brown grass in amongst all the green grass. That's a good sign that that might be a baby rabbit nest. And once you pull all that dry grass back, this is what you're gonna find. And we kind of have an example down here for you. It's not a very deep nest. The mom makes a really shallow nest. She doesn't invest a lot of time making a nest. She lines it with her fur and then the bait, she has her babies in there. She can have up to eight to 12 babies and she just covers them back up with some grass and she leaves it like that. The babies are born without a scent and they notice it still and not make any noise so that they don't attract other animals to them while mom is away. If you're concerned, once you find the nest, you can check the rabbits out to see if they're healthy or not. A couple things we tell people to look for is once you um, pick the rabbits up, they should be kind of bouncing around a little bit. Um, we call them little jumping beans and they should look like they got little fat Buddha bellies a little bit, little plump bellies. If you turn them over on their backs, when they're this size, you can actually see through their skin and you'll see a little white mark on their belly. That means they're full of milk. Um, their bellies are on the left side of their body. One thing, another thing you can do is you can pinch the skin up between their shoulder blades on their back like this, if I can show you, and their skin should fall right back down and that means that they're hydrated and they're good and healthy. Um, of course, if you see any broken bones, any bleeding, anything like that, if they feel cold to the touch, that could be the sign that they need help and you would need to call a wildlife rehabilitator before you do anything else with them and we'll provide you with that information on our website. Now, if you do find a baby bunny nest and you really want to make sure if, to see if the mom's coming back or not, we have a couple of tricks here for you so you can try to tell that. One thing you can do is you can take some string and just make it in little four squares like this. And the next day when you go to check it, if it's disturbed at all like that, that means that the mother's come back. Another thing you can take do is take flour or corn cornmeal, put it around the nest, and you can look for little marks in it with the mom's tracks. Sometimes it'll be flung around like that, and that could be a sign that the mother came back. It is very unlikely that the mother's going to abandon her babies. All wild animals invest a lot of time and energy into raising their young. They wanna keep their populations healthy. They wanna um, continue their genetic line. So they're not just gonna abandon them that easy. So when you're doing a health check on them, one of the myths we wanna dispel is if you touch them that the mother will abandon them. That's just simply not true. Would you abandon your baby if some stranger touched their hand and they smelled funny? Um, the mothers will smell your scent on them, but she just licks all the human cooties and germs off and then she's good to go. She's gonna take care of her babies again. Um, another question we get is if somebody's dog finds the nest. They're worried that every time they let the dog out, the dog's gonna go over to the nest and disturb the babies. So one trick we tell people to do is to put a laundry basket over the babies during the day. That's because a lot of times it's during the summer months, you wanna make sure there's still good airflow going through there. And just leave that on there during the day when you're letting your dogs out. The mother only comes to the nest twice a day. I know that's hard to believe because none of us would just leave our babies for all day long, but that's actually a survival mechanism. Um, you just put a heavy rack on there so your dog can't knock it over easy. And so the mom will come early in the morning, usually before we get out of bed, and then she comes usually around um, sunset. So after you let your dog out for the last time, before you go to bed, take this laundry basket off and the mom can come back and feed them at night and the next morning, and then you can leave it on here all day long um, so that the dog doesn't disturb them. Um, and if you have any other questions or concerns, you can go to our website. We have a lot of great information on there about orphan animals.